This is seriously a game changer for nail prep. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sip and Dip with Chelsea. For today's video, I am not using peel base. I am going to show you guys how I prevent lifting and how I get weeks out of a manicure without damaging my natural nails. So this tool right here is a glass cuticle pusher. It is a game changer for lifting. It's a game changer for nail prep. It's amazing. So first I just gently push back my cuticles. I also like to do small circular motions and then you're going to see me use the other end of this tool to clean everything out. It is amazing. It blows metal cuticle pushers out of the water. I did do a video on that as well so I will put that up here in the top of the video. But for lifting and prep, this is what you need. So glass is extremely effective, but also very gentle on your natural nails. You can see just how much it's removed here. So now with this end of my cuticle pusher, I just go around and clean everything up. Be sure once you are done and happy with it, that you dust off all of that excess. And now we use our glass nail file. So I just like to shape my nails really quickly before starting application. I taper the sides in a little bit so that it doesn't get bulky after adding product to my nail. And this is where I'm gonna blow your mind. So I saw this trick on one of the nail groups. So normally you would start by buffing the surface of your nail, but so many of you guys have been saying, Chelsea, my natural nails are so brittle how do i protect them before application so this is where we're going to change it up instead of buffing your natural nails you're going to go in with your dehydrator or your ph prep so apply this to your entire nail and this is going to cleanse and remove any oils left on them i'll be using manny boss dip powder liquids today but any brand will do i am just loving hers right now so grab your dip base we are going to do one layer on our natural nails. This is going to act as a glue to help your first layer have something to grab onto, but it's not going to jeopardize the longevity of your nails lasting. So I have this current set on, it's been about a week and a half and I have no lifting. Be sure to get all the way to those sidewalls because we did not buff our natural nails. So this is going to help that first layer grab onto your nail. So make sure you're wiping off your brush both sides before putting it back in the bottle. And once this is dry, then we can move on to dipping. Now that we are officially in spring, I am diving headfirst into neons. So this is Revel Nails Flamingo. I'm just gonna give this a quick stir with my toothpick, but I'm gonna show you guys the three-fourths method today. So with my finger pointed slightly downward, I'm only gonna put the base about three-fourths down the nail. This is going to cut back on bulk, especially having shorter nails, dip into the powder, and then tap down any little flakes that are standing up on my nail. Now we can move on to the next nail. So I like to, instead of dusting off each nail, I like to move on to the next, let the product sit and absorb into that dip base, and then just keep going until I am done with my whole hand before dusting off. Now that I am done, I am going to dust that product off and we'll move on to our second layer. For this second coat, I slowly guide the base liquid back to my cuticle and then do a full dip. So I like to pull the skin down on the side here. That way I can get all the way over to those sidewalls without getting this product on my skin. Be sure to cap off the tip of your nail and the free edge and then dip into the powder. I like to use a toothpick to just clean up around my cuticle area. This is going to help when I'm filing and shaping as well. I follow these same steps for the rest of my nails and dip into the powder. Once you're done with your second layer, dust off and move on to your third dip. So this will also be a full coverage dip with your base liquid, 
do the entire surface of the nail without getting this on your skin and dip into your powder. I really love Manny Boss liquids because they are a slower dry time and you can see here I can just clean up without feeling rushed and it makes for such an easier application. All right, so follow those same steps for the rest of your nails and then we're gonna move on to clear encapsulating. I'll be using Revel Nails Vivian, which is their clear, any clear dip powder will do. So another full layer with your base liquid. And this is going to protect your color when you're filing and shaping. Follow these same steps for the rest of your hand. And when you are done with clear encapsulating, dust off the powder and I have got to show this to you guys. So I featured this little gadget. This is a desk vacuum in my organizational video and you guys went nuts over it. It is so cute and handy. You can see all of this glitter and all of the dip powder. You just turn this on and it cleans it up. It is amazing. So when you're done cleaning up your space, you can grab your activator. This is going to harden the dip powder so that you can move on to filing and shaping. After two minutes have passed and they are dry, we can move on to the fun part. I've got my Melody Susie nail dust collector here. This is a game changer for keeping your desk space clean as well and also your lungs. So this is my Manny Boss 100 slash 180 grit. This is the 100 grit side. I love this side for shaping the outside of my nails. It gives it a very crisp, clean look. And then I like to flip the file over. So now this is my 180 grit side. And I run this across the entire top surface of my nail. This helps with cutting down the bulk of those side walls and just really perfecting the apex, the natural shape of my nail. I also like to go around my cuticle area with this to give it a smooth, clean line. And then we can move on to buffing. The three-fourths method is great because it cuts down on your filing and shaping time. I've already done the work by cutting down the bulk around those sidewalls. So once I'm happy with my cuticle area, I grab my buffing block and I buff the entire surface of my nail smooth. If there is one thing I wish that I could have told my beginner dipping self three years ago, it's that when I think I'm done buffing, go back and buff some more. It's such a game changer to spend the time, the extra time putting in that fine tuned detailing of filing and shaping. Once you're done buffing and shaping your nails, dust off all of that extra powder and move on to activator. So we apply a very generous layer of activator across all of our nails, and then we're gonna let that dry. After two minutes have passed, I like to use a napkin and I just rub it across my nail to make sure there is no leftover residue from the activator. Now it's time for our dip powder top coat. So I like to do a very thin layer, just a few quick swipes as my first coat, and then I do the rest of my nails the same way. But what I wanna show you is make sure that you are wiping off your brush on a napkin each time it touches your nail. So our second layer would be immediately following the first when you're done with the rest of your nails, and then let this dry and you are done. 
So before I put away my dip powder top coat and my base, I like to do this every single time. I get as much product off of my brush as possible. You can see I've got some liquid up there on the rim. And then I grab a napkin and I just dry it off. I clean it. This is going to prevent my liquids from getting sealed shut and any possible contamination. Now that my nails are dry, it is time for cuticle oil, and I can't have neon fun tropical nails without grabbing Tropy Way. So this was the first scent that I ever bought from Candy Skincare. It smells just like the tanning oil. It is heavenly, probably still my favorite scent to date, but it makes me so excited for summer and tan lines, being by the pool or at the beach, it's heavenly. It feels so weird to have matching hands. I honestly don't remember the last time I did, but I am loving it. So excited to get out of town for a little bit, but I hope that you guys found this video helpful. Maybe learn some new little tricks to help protect your natural nails, but also still have some longevity out of your dip powder. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.